Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs. My grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the video is insightful just give you a good vibe please go ahead and share you never know how it may impact the next um today i'm actually doing something different i haven't done in a while i think it's probably been like about two and a half three months no probably two and a half months i don't think it's been that long where i've done um my tarot card readings i really enjoy those you know just being able to help her out and just seeing how people's lives can really truly unfold um this is uh doing for taurus and i forgot to say in the other one because i did uh capricorn and gemini um if this does not fly let it uh, you know if it don't apply let it fly you know everybody's not going to resonate with this um uh taurus what does taurus have in the month and a happy birthday towards y'all Taurus you know I know mine's getting ready to come up in two weeks so you know just going through all these different things and all these different changes you know universe is really you know proud of the progress that we're going through you know they know that it's been long drawn out and tiring but you know this is strengthening you they always say everything that's taking place especially the obstacles is bettering you you know it's for your highest good you know it gives you strength that, that need it in moments we feel like we're defeated <laughs> oh, let's try to sit up here and rob, but okay. All right, let me stop. All right. But listening to the music, there's uh, uh is just been different songs that may be taking place. Uh, that's coming up. You may catch yourself singing a certain song. Be like, why is this coming out? You know, universe, God, they always talk through music. You know, music, movies. You know, um, you you uh, advertisement. You know, different commercials and stuff that you see. They said you've been really facing the mu music. You've been listening to it, and you you um. Uh, it's been giving you, you know, insight for the head of time. Um, you, but you've been focusing on new beginnings, you know, and they're telling you to stop worrying about that. You know, different things is underway. You know, everything, you know, universe and God promises you something. They want you to know that it's not going to go unfulfilled. Everything that you're going through is not going to be in vain. You know, new love is coming through. New love is coming through. You're listening to the music, but it is just some kind of line of hope. That you know that you're really heavy about these new beginnings because there's so many different things that you've been putting into play and they realize that and they, they know you know that new love is helping support you in different ways because there may be um, a counterpart that you have been heavy on your mind about that they've been uh, you know uh, texting you they may be calling you you know different things um, and it, from what I'm hearing it's a surprising one there was one that you thought it wouldn't be more than friends and maybe somebody you put in the example zone friend zone <laughs> situation zone and they're telling you not to do that celebration is going to take place into your life oh my god celebration is going to take place and these are the things is is taking you towards that and they're telling you don't fear the new beginnings because celebration is on that in that in that place and knowing that you're being divinely guided towards that this is something that um that has been taking place for a while you know you've been working on this for a while and these are the different things that you know they are truly you know wanting you to understand that it's taking place exactly the way it needed to be um and it's going to be very harmonious you know these are different things that's taking place into your life um where you need that peace because you've been dealing with a lot of, a lot of heaviness you know not every uh taurus is resonating with that you know it may have been um things that's been thrown up in the air you may have been working hard just for change in your life you may not be healing from different trauma but there's a lot of things it's like you've been going through from what i'm hearing a spiritual training and you're passing like that you're really passing with fine colors shoot and just because of that you got harmony is on its way for you taurus what the heck you in hell going on all right all right all right they're telling you that this is gonna under it, this is underway for you miracles is happening every day but you're not seeing the magic within yourself. I don't know what it is about Gemini <laughs> and Capricorn. You are not recognizing that magic in you. You are a powerful source. You are a source to be reckoned with. And that's the thing. They're telling you you need to be able to know that. 
you know, and listening to that is leading you towards your magic. You know, you have uh, this soulmate that's coming through. That's letting you know you're not dealing with these things alone. They love you so much, and they're 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 telling you they're not they're taking you by the hand, you know, and they're taking you by the hand and they're leading you towards that light. You know, that light is very strong for you too. And the signs is coming in that miracles is on its way. I don't know what y'all got going on towards, but Jesus, fix it. And well, now I actually did, Jesus did fix it. That's actually a good thing. So, woo. You know, you don't have too many reverse cards, and that's good. That is really good for you. Okay. Let's see. There's so many different things that's been taking place since this last moon. When I say it's busted a levy on so many different things that has been underway when I say it oh my gosh because it's been heavy I didn't even notice it until somebody said something like Rosalyn you know there was like a new moon or a full moon it was just revealing a lot of different things to you that uh, was what was truly needed it really was okay and they want me to go ahead and flip this over and that Okay. All right. Something about children. Um, there's somebody who's trying to plan to get pregnant. Or they are hoping. They've been having dreams about pregnancy. This could be a rebirth. This could be a future timeline with the uh, soulmate that you've been going uh, through different things with. That there's children that's going to be involved. Or there's somebody uh, has in, having questions about children this uh, uh, underway. And you have placed forgiveness. Universe is so happy for, for you for that. Because they know it was so hard for you to forgive there's so, so you know different things even when you did not get the apology you truly deserve you stepped out of that balance and said I'm I'm not going to just worry about that this is for my this is my peace of mind not for theirs but I'm still giving them you're not wishing anything bad on on anyone and universe is so proud of you for that because there are certain things that has taken place whether you know about it or not that you no matter what it was you forgave that and they are so proud of you for that and you have been taking retreat you have really been heavy on that on that retreat you've been taking that time out for yourself you've been meditating you've been clearing uh doing a very uh they, they say mental and emotional and spiritual cleansing and clearing you've been purging out a lot uh Taurus and they are so happy for you for that But there are certain things you still place in your power in. There are certain things that you may have heavy on your mind that you have power on. And they're telling you whatever whatever you have focused on your mind that is not pleasant and is very unhealthy, take your power back, snatch that mess back. You know, because it's uh it's uh it's like it's wrapping up in your manifestations and they want you to know that. You know, knowing your power, you know, being able to understand that you are so much powerful than so much more powerful than you give yourself uh, credit for. And knowing when you stay true to yourself and you're giving this to the divine, when you when you're asking for universe help and saying, you know, I did all I can and I'm listening to you now. I, I really need this help to buckle down and do what I need to do. And this is something that had to take place and I'm 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 ready for it. But there's a friendship. When I say everybody is catching this friendship, there are some toxic tides that people keep entertaining. And they're telling you to cut that mess. Cut it. Just cut it. Cut it. Cut it. You Price is way too high. You need to cut it. <laughs> I keep on hearing it. The price is way too high. You need to cut it. Because trust in divine time. It's so many beautiful things is heading towards your way. So many beautiful things are happening for you now. They're showing. They, they, they say you're showing gratitude in that attitude. You're uplifting yourself. But then you know, they're telling you stop being so hard on yourself. You know, there's beautiful things that's coming out. Don't worry about what, what it is. And it's about that soulmate. Everybody got that issue about the soulmate. They're focusing on that soulmate. And the soulmate is already there. I'm telling you that. The soulmate's already there. That blessings of that soulmate is there. So stop worrying about that. That divine timing of that soulmate. But it's just like the power of that manifestation. Because as soon as I said that, it's like uh, soulmate is right here. Y'all, let me see if y'all can see it. You know, soulmate is right here, 
power is right here and manifestation. You are trying to manifest this soulmate and it's like you don't need to manifest that no more. It's already in play. And knowing that blessing is taking place, that's something that you can't stop even if you wanted to, even if you feared it. It's, it's telling you, but you need to get out in nature. Enjoy yourself. Let, listen to the birds and the trees and the flowers and the trees. They're telling you that. Go out in nature. Everybody, it's like Gemini and Capricorn got that. And you know, and it's it's like within that nature that you go into that retreat about you won't get your peace there. You deserve that serenity is trying to take place into your life. You know, and it's like you're worried about abundance. And they're telling you to stop worrying about that. Your abundance is coming through in every form. Just because you allow forgiveness to take place and there is just like a friendship that you know um you're becoming more friends with yourself, but there are certain things that's been around you that you've been so used to. And they're telling you to cut that. And your prayers are being answered with that. So they're telling you to surrender and meditate on that. Surrender and release. You deserve this into your life. And you, you know, it's just because it's messing with your spiritual growth. You don't want to do that. This is messing with your spiritual growth. And you deserve this. Because there are so many different creative vibrations that's coming in. But it's just whatever that friendship is, that is not a friend to you. Anything that is keeping you up at night. Anything that is, uh, you know, disrupting your life. That was a blessing in disguise. But it's ran its course. And they're saying let it go. This is really let it go. And it's like the last two spreads I just did. Is telling you to let it go because there's so much this in store for you and it's already happening. It's just that other. It's like whatever this person is, it is like it has devil horns attached all to it. And as soon as I said that, I got some big chills. Hairs them just stood up. This person is not wanting good for you. It's just not. They don't because they know they're not going to be a part of that. And they want, they, it's like mind, 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 greedy, 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 selfish vibrations. And they're telling you, you have to let that person go, but let them detach with love. You know, they, they brought and taught you so much within yourself, within your power on what things should be, how they should be and how they shouldn't. And that's exactly what they were in for. You know, a lot of times people come into your life to make you better for a person that is yet to come. That's going to take that place. So they're telling you. You know, regardless, you know, it, it doesn't always have to be with a spouse. It can be with friends. You know, some friends that, that we think are friends that you got to know your circle. Not everybody in your circle is in your corner. And they just said that. So, you know, listen, keep listening to the music. Don't be so fixated on this new beginning because that new love is already there. It's, it, it's already taken. It's already high in its course. And that celebration of that new love is there. And this divine guidance is guiding you towards that. It's very harmonious. Keep listening. But notice the magic in yourself that miracles um, are, are strongly taking place. And you can see the signs. They say believe that. You know, allowing yourself, whether this is about a pregnancy you've been fi fixated on, they're allowing you to say, see things through child's eyes. You know, allowing yourself to see everything is in beauty everything is magical you know if you're having issues with your children knowing this will you know it will take course within them they're all going through healing experiences even if it feels like it's not or this is a thing where it's telling you to strongly get in touch with your inner child because it's needing healing as well you know you're still doing that universe is happy with that because you know when you see the issue that they know that you're putting in you you're putting in work you allowed yourself to forgive the unforgivable and that is like that there there are like i keep on hearing checkmate check they keep saying that, that everything that they're asking you to do is just checking off but it's just those things you're worrying about you're placing your power into this this whatever it is that you're you're worried about and it, it's like you don't want to manifest the opposite of that you know um because you have so many blessings that are coming in. They're telling you take your power back from whatever you're placing worry in. They're saying that, you know, and start allowing yourself to be focused on the intention of what you're wanting to manifest into your life. You know, when you're being true to yourself, you know, then universe is helping you because they're helping you detach away from anything that's unhealthy into your life. Because that friendship and these it, it is price that price is way too high. You need to cut it. You know? Um, and trust in the divine timing. That soulmate is, uh, you're worried about that soulmate. That soulmate is there. You know, they're going, they're clearing cords, is 
where they're clearing their slate and cutting cords. You're they're, you're doing the same and they're doing exactly what you're doing. And blessings, there's so many blessings that's coming out of that. But go into nature because nature is going to speak to you. And, you know, allow yourself to get into that serenity. Don't feel like you're in the lack of anything because, you know, you're not in lack of anything. You are so abundantly blessed. And they're telling you that your prayers are being answered from that. You know, but don't allow yourself to, you know, take that for granted because your spiritual birth, uh, growth is being uh, in that vibration of being stagnant because you're not released and surrendered certain things. And through meditation, you can do that. So I hope you're able to resonate with that. I'll let you see all these these cards. Uh oh, I don't know if I put my hand in the way. So I hope you were able to resonate with that, Taurus. You know, happy birthday, Taurus! Everybody's like that. Um, this in um the month of May, uh, April, May. Um, if this not every Taurus is going to resonate with that. Um, so if it don't apply, let it fly. <laughs> if you're ever interested in having a private reading, I leave my contact information in the description box below. I hope this can help you. And this is all for the month of May. You know, there's so many good things that's coming out. Um, I just did Taurus, uh, what is it, not Taurus, but Capricorn and Gemini. And they um, almost had close to the same reading, Jesus. You know, and all these different things. But you're deserving of this. So I hope you're able to resonate with that. And this is like a blueprint. They keep on saying this is a cheat sheet. So whatever is in reverse, this can help you out big time. So, if you need to go back and see what was in reverse, you can go ahead and see that. So, I make sure y'all can be able to see the card so you can see what's going on in your life. And congratulations, Taurus. You got so many beautiful things coming. You truly deserve that. Much love to you. Peace.